so it's Crestline, California. I'm calling myself the Crestline Creatrix in my own head, in my own conversation. Uh, but I invented it as a, a vlog topic for my website. So I'm uh, really wanting to kind of um, build a creative community, um, be present for gay kids uh, or gay community. I haven't seen one here will um, at some point make this a gay Airbnb, um, maybe, uh, somewhere down the line. But uh, for now, it's my own creative oasis and my own artist residency and my own uh, time and space to contemplate uh, my life and the rest of it. Um, and should my children procreate, it'll be a grandma house <laughs> and a playground for their families as they grow. So these are, these were my thoughts. Uh, I haven't brought you into the house. I bought the house, I think, for those yellow chairs and that yellow door. Um, and I'll take you on a little tour. Uh, that's the desk. Uh, writing and otherwise uh, where I tell the stories of my family or I listen to my dead folks my my ancestors tell me what they want me to know there's my advertisement uh, to the neighborhood and my reminder to myself that I managed all of this by coming out and deciding to stay alive when that was hard. So I hang the flag in solidarity with other people. Um, I don't see a lot of outwardly uh, expressed folk uh, up here. So I want, you know, kind of like my mom was that, you know, they used to have these um, signals like this is a safe house you can come to if you need anything. Um, my mom had that on our house growing up and I offer uh, this uh, gifted flag uh, to represent that to anybody who needs it or knows what it means and, and needs community. And there's some artwork I made before, I, before, 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 before. And then this is the uh, tarot chair. <laughs> And sometimes I'll sit and eat at the tarot table um, with Santa as my <laughs> consistent, my most consistent date. Um, and uh, otherwise, I pull cards for myself um, for any insight those can give to me uh, each morning. And I just work through the deck and pay attention to how the, I call them God cards, the major arcana is interfacing with the minor arcana. And then in the minor arcana, I read the wands, cups, swords, and discs, uh, or whatever, how, however they are referenced in this, uh, the enchanted tarot deck, uh, as, you know, what should I be doing in the world? What am I thinking? How is that controlling my life? Um, that's for swords. Doing is wands for me, uh, cups, or hearts in this deck, you know, how, what's love looking like? What, how, how am I offering it? How is it coming through? How is it impacting my life? And then discs, I, I read always as um, what you have, no matter what you have, which is where I'm living in these days. <laughs> I've managed this house on a uh, whim and instinct and a prayer and um, and now I'm unexpectedly unemployed a little earlier than I am than my contract was scheduled to end and so I'm praying a lot and um, asking for what's mine to come and thinking a lot about what are the ways that I can now be ingenious with <laughs> the skills and abilities and experience I've earned 
and the opportunity I have being here. Um, this is for me, my installation, the Day of the Dead piece I would have offered this year um, and is uh, consistent and ongoing for me as I work out my whiteness um, and my commitment to Black Lives That Matter. And so this uh, piece uh, is, uh, I can work on it very, in very limited amounts, but I can sit in the rocker um, and I can rock and think and consider what it is uh, to be a white woman who wants to distance herself from Karen-like uh, behavior and actually work in what's, what can be manifest as relatedness in the 21st century. But my ancestors are on this wall um, with my proud declaration of who I've, I've become so they can live free. Uh, and um, whatever whiteness is, it's certainly been in my family uh, generationally for a long, 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 long time. I don't know that I am the first to integrate my family, but um, I am the first to marry an African and adopt an African and, and have African-American children that matter more than anything in the world to me. So I sit here and re read my Angela Davis book and, and educate myself and consider the shadow of whiteness and figure out, you know, in, in an um, in the midst of this mountain uh, with people who probably believe differently, um, I think about what I can do. And I can dream like Martin and lead like Harriet and love like Glide. And so that's that. And this, again, is my piece for 2020. Um, in the touch it every day, one painting for the rest of your life kind of way of um, not being attached to outcome. So I've done some work on that since he since getting here. So this will be uh, a piece I work on from whenever I started it to October 16th of 2021. And that'll be my annual uh, touch it every day piece. And what else will I take you to? Oh, so in the backyard um, that I told you about in yesterday's video, uh, there's a handless clock of dead poets. And that came from a Day of the Dead uh, installation that I offered in 2018. And, um, you know, those poets are my nod to Dead Poet Society, my, my way of knowing and relating and being inspired and being reminded to use every day, carpe diem, um, as someone who uh, can mark the gift of time with words and reflections and promise and possibility. And as part of that um, exhibition, there was a caged bird that sings, and it's silver, but now it's covered in white, and a black bird at the very top, out and free. The door is always open on the bird cage, and it's become a kind of altar um, for these ancestral considerations of blackness and whiteness and caged birds and freedom. And this is Snowfall and Crestline. And these are my trees, my trees. 
trees that have been entrusted to me while I live here. And yesterday, I was out there making the path, the ring around the sacred ring of redwoods. And in concentric circle ways that could be seen from a drone, I guess, there are these miracles of interconnected, acti you know, interconnected tree talk. All the roots of these trees are intertwined and they are actually holding the mountain where it is and providing what it is to breathe in this space and live in this place and be grateful for the inside, the indoors of things. So, welcome to this Crestline Creatrix Sustainability Sanctuary and uh, Dead Poet Celebration <laughs> of what lives. This came to me in meditation in the garden um, that, you know, we, did, we, we, I, we don't honor the dead for their deadness, but for what they gave us that is still alive with us now. And in the season of COVID and Christmas and jumping off places, I think of that, of all that is here with us, having dropped, so many of us having dropped the body to be pure spirit, to help us move forward as a humanity on an earth of the goodness that comes from the glory of creation. Thanks for coming home with me. I'm Beck Benz in the Crestline Creatrix, <laughs> living behind the yellow door uh, in a forest on a mountain with a sacred ring of redwoods in the backyard. Blessings.